All right, putting together another video for you. This was number 28. It says calculate the area of ABC. And I'm, and I'm recalling here that the formula for the area of a triangle is, uh, let's see here, it's one half the base times the height. And now I think the really interesting thing about this formula is that the base of the triangle, it could be the side lying kind of horizontally flat, but it doesn't have to be. The base could be any of the three sides. And the height is relative to the base that we choose. The height's always going to be perpendicular to the base. So I guess AC could be our base, which would make BA our height. However, I can also see us redrawing this triangle, and, and follow me here. So I can see us drawing this triangle so that it looks something like this, where instead of AC being our base, CB is our base. And, and why would we ever want to do that? Well, it's because we're already told what CB is. CB is 10 plus 5. CB is 15. So in a way, this is great. If we already know what our base is, why don't we use it? One half of 15. Okay, we're already in business. Well, now what? Well, now we have to go about finding our height and what we can recognize. See how AD right here is perpendicular to BC? AD would be our height. AD would be our height right there. And if and so in order to figure out the area of this triangle, all we would need to do is go back and 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 solve for that height, solve solve for H, solve for AD. Okay, so now how would we go about doing that? Well, if we're so interested in AD, if we're so interested in AD, then we should pick apart here the triangles in this shape that have AD in it. For example, I see one very small triangle. Here it is. It has AD as it's kind of its up, upright height. So there's AD. Let's see here. D is at the base, A, and then it kicks over and down to B. So there's one triangle with AD, and that's ADB. And already we know that BD is 5. Put that right there. And AD we're calling our height, so we'll call that H. Well, now I'm looking at this triangle again, and I actually see another triangle that has AD for one of its sides. It's this right triangle, ADC. So I'll draw, it's that medium-sized triangle right here, and I'll draw it, here it goes. It's medium-sized triangle. Uh, let's see, D is still down here, and D goes up to C, and the foot of it is over here at A, and we know that CD is equal to 10, and that AD is equal to our height. Well, now we notice something else that's kind of interesting. We notice these are both right triangles, and they both share an angle A, meaning that A and A, they must be congruent because they're the same angle. Well, because all the angles of a triangle add up to 180, 180 degrees, that must mean that these two angles are congruent. And for that matter, we know that if we have two angles that are congruent in two triangles, then we know those triangles are similar. We know that triangle, um, I didn't leave myself enough room to write here. We know then that triangle, and I'll write it in the colors as well, just to kind of keep everything straight. We know that triangle ADB is similar to triangle uh, ADB is triangle CDA. Make sure I have all my correspondences lined up correctly, all my corresponding points. We know that they are similar to one another because they, because of they both share two angles. Okay, so now where does this get us? Well, this is fantastic because what we can see here is that AD corresponds to CD and DB corresponds to DA. So we know then that H is to 5 for the orange triangle as 10 is to H. And now we have uh, a proportional equation uh, with one variable H. So now we can go about solving. 
So we can cross multiply or, or do what you like and we have h squared is equal to 50, meaning that h is equal to the square root of 50, which is 25 times 2. So h is equal to 5 square root 2. Amazing. Hey, look at that. h is equal to 5 square root 2. So now we're in great shape. Uh, rewrite my formula down here. We know the area of this triangle is equal to 1 half the base, which is 15 times the height is 5 root 2. Just go ahead and crank through this real quick. Let's see here. Where's my calculator? Down here. Yep, there it is. So we have 1 half, so 0. 0.5 times 15 times 5 square root of, uh, of 2. Do a quick check. Does it say leave it in exact form? Uh, no, it doesn't. So we can just Calculate that area. Uh, close that parentheses and done. 53.03. All right. So we know that the area of that triangle is 53.03. Make sure we get our units. Doesn't say. So what we'll just do is call this units squared. There you go.